Hey guys, this is Robin Wakem from the Back Pain Secret Podcast, and today I'm going to talk about why the bed business is ripping back pain sufferers off because you're desperate, okay? So, here's the important question. How can back pain sufferers like us, who don't want to use prescription drugs or go through surgery, feed our back pain? How do we live our daily lives in a way that allows us to go to work, take care of our families, enjoy life, and still manage our back pain? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Robin Wakem, and welcome to Back Pain Secrets. Okay, guys, uh, to give you a bit of a backstory about me, uh, I've been a back pain expert for about 22 years now. Uh, I injured my back pain ice hockey, quite seriously. I spent three years trying to heal my own back pain. I read a lot of books. Uh, I, I started to model people and I had some results. I got interested so I went uh, to university, spent six years at university um, studying physiotherapy and started a back pain clinic. Okay. So when I started this back pain clinic, I was do it was hard in the beginning to get customers and stuff, you know, it always takes the time to, to build build a company. So as an extra income, I, I I had on my website, I put up a little store shop, you know, or uh, where you could purchase good products for your back pain. And I had a lot of questions, you know, people were asking me, where can I buy a good tense machine? Where can I buy a massage couch? Uh, where, where can I get a good bed, blah, blah, blah. So I got this up and running, you know, just as a, as a side project, you know, I was doing it during the night after work. So anyway, uh, I had all kinds of products up there, but the number one product that I was selling was the Temper mattress, seven centimeters, okay? And this was crazy, you know, this was a sm small site. I, I didn't have any experience, totally new to, to anything regarding sales. So I had that up and I started to, to the sales start to pick up, you know? I started to sell these mattresses. Uh, I mean, I was making like 50 or $60,000 uh, a month doing the sales for these mattresses, you know, it's just nuts, crazy. And it was just, just me on, on the laptop doing this at, at, at nighttime. And that was actually what helped me get my, my, my clinic going, you know, so I could put that cash in and, and build it up big uh, the way it is today. So anyway, I was doing this, you know, and after about a year, I, I had a phone call. And it was the guys from Temper, the head office here in Stockholm, Sweden. They invited me down to, to their main location and we had a meeting down there and they said, hey, you're doing quite well, you know, you don't even have a store or anything, you just have this website and you're, you're just uh, cranking out those mattresses, you know, what's your secret, you know? I didn't know the secret, I didn't have a clue, you know, it was just, just working for me. Uh, so they said, hey, as, a, as an extra bonus, as a thank you, would you be interested in, uh, would you be interested in going to um, South Africa with us? We have a few top sales uh, people that are going and uh, you qualify. So are you in? And I said, of course, <laughs> it's free, right? <laughs> Excellent. So a week later, I show up at, at the airport and it's a group of about 10 or 12 guys uh, in their between 45 to 65 years old, you know. And they're all like the these successful guys, you know, they have the big watch, they have the big suit on and, and they're looking sharp and you obviously you see that they're making making a lot of money. And they all own these big bed chains, you know, selling these temper mattresses. So I, they, they look at me because I'm a young guy, you know, I'm like 22, 23, uh, I have my backpack on. I think they thought that I was like the guy that's going to carry the luggage or something like that. But anyway, we, we, we get on the plane, we get to South Africa, we're doing all kinds of shit, guys. We're, we're going on safaris, we're, 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 we're diving down, uh, they put us, put, put us in a cage uh, and they, they, with, with oxygen, right? And they put them down in a cage and then we, they sunk us down under the boat and then they had like sharks sw sw swing or, swimming around the, the cage, it was just crazy. We also had this uh, flight si simulation with uh, helicopters like old uh, Vietnam helicopters. We had the, all, all the gear on us and everything, the music, and we're having like simulating dog fights. It's crazy and expensive. All kinds of, of parties. It was, uh, it was a hell of a trip, I have to say. Uh, anyway, right there when I was sitting uh, uh, in, in South Africa, it hit me, you know, that the bed, bin, bed industry had huge margins. 
I mean, I'm talking like 80 to 90 percent on the stuff they're selling. Okay, and uh, that that's good for them. You know, it's 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 good. And what I want to come back to is I have a lot of back pain patients in my office that come in and they ask me about the the beds. You know, what kind of bed is the best bed? What mattress should I buy? What 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 uh, pillow should I buy for for my my pain? And it's hard, you know, there is no like right or wrong. It's the product that works for you. And if you have a serious back condition or neck condition, chances are that doesn't, it, it, it definitely matters what kind of mattress or, or cushion you buy, but it's not going to take away all the pain. So if you go into to a, to a bed place and trying to buy a new bed and you are in a lot of pain, then you are... You, you are desperate, right? So you're a good, easy, it's an easy sell for the guy or gal that's selling your be the bed to you. So you need to, first off, acknowledge that there is no quick solutions, okay? And just because the bed is expensive doesn't mean that it's going to be better than a cheaper bed. The best bed is the bed that you sleep good in, okay? And the only way to really, to... Uh, understand that and and uh, and uh, make sure that that is it's the right bed for you is to you go in and you lie in the bed for maybe 15 to 20 minutes and you you go back the the next day and the next day you just give it a go before you 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 get your credit card card out and buy it okay also try to buy the bed from a big from a big chain it's easier to exchange chain exchange the bed than if it doesn't work out okay um, and, and and you might under, ask me, you know, is temper good? Well, yes, absolutely. For for a few people with back pain and neck pain, it's excellent. You know, uh, a lot of my patients really like temper, and there's other mattresses that uh, that are also good that are not temper mattresses. And there's also a lot of other uh, of these foam mattresses out um, on the market uh, that uh, are also good. You know, so what you should do and how you should think when you buy a bed or a new mattress is you first you need to try it out uh, a few times because these things are expensive. They're usually many thousands of, of dollars uh, and then also make sure that it's easy to exchange and um, don't don't think that just because you're buying a more expensive mattress that it's going to take away all your pain. Okay, guys, I uh, went a bit of a rant there. <laughs> I hope I hope you, you had some value from this. And as always, if you have any questions, uh, just put them down in the chat there and I, I'll try to, to answer them. And guys, remember, you're just one step away from healing your back pain. Bye-bye. Want more back pain secrets? Then go ahead and get your free copy of my best-selling book, Back Pain Secrets, at backpainsecrets.com. Inside this book, you will find my top secrets to healing your back pain without prescription drugs or surgery that have helped thousands of other people just like you.